Hi Bhuva, how are you? Hi, I'm good, Paresh. How are you? What's up, Badia? So, everything good? Yeah, I am so excited to be here. And I'm so excited that we're doing this. I think it's going to be a very interesting series. And I wish you all the best. Thank you and I hope the same. So, first of all, thank you so yeah. much for joining us in the series uh, Chart for Designers. And as I've already briefed you about the things which we're going to discuss in the series. So let's quickly listen about you. Okay. So um, I started uh, freelancing in 2020 uh, when the COVID hit. Uh, but then uh, fortunately, I, I got a few projects and then I launched Studio Allocation in 2021. I've been in the industry for four years and it's been a good run. I think it's a very flourishing and a very booming industry. And it's a absolutely an amazing time to be in this industry because everybody is actually uh, now able to understand what design is and how important it is so yeah okay that's amazing that's good so up to four years ki journey mein kaisa ups and downs rahe hain kaisa aapko laga kaisa maza aaya matlab how it is apart from doing a normal job and how it is like doing your own work what difference lagta hai of course of course so like uh, when you uh, you have your own firm you have the autonomy so in the direction which you want to go uh, but mm-hmm. when you're working for a firm obviously you have to go by what they believe in and what the kind of projects they want so obviously that is one difference another is uh, of course that uh, like you would want uh, to work like 7 days a week 24 hours a day for your firm but if you're working for someone else that feels like work this is more like play than work so i feel uh, that is the world of difference which comes uh, with the having a business yeah mutual feelings okay <laughs> yeah. now uh, let me start with the first question for our audience so there's a thing like whenever you get a lead from any client or any customer who is giving you a work mm-hmm. and uh, when you think about the work is going to be this much ya yeah, itna jo bhi start hone wala hai what are your thoughts on that what are your perspective and moreover when that lead particularly that customer gets converted and he or she is ready to work with you what is the process you are going to start about so tell me everything in a brief okay so i'll keep it very concise Uh, mm-hmm. so what we do is uh, firstly we get a brief of what the requirements are from the project uh, mm-hmm. then we send out a detailed questionnaire to know them well so there's a meeting which happens it's more like a first date uh, so like you get to know what their interests are uh, what they like to do what is what is their background what is their profession uh, what is their taste like where do they got uh, like to go shopping <coughs> and uh, so basically knowing your client well and uh, then there is a site visit which happens uh, uh, together and while we are on the site uh, i try to understand what they are visualizing at the same time i judge what the restrictions and limitation as well as the potential and advantages of that site are so once i have all of this data i collate it i prepare a design pitch uh, in that i use uh, tools like mood boards and having uh, uh, basically whatever the brief that they've given me on the basis of that i present them with the design with the cost estimate if they like it we go forward with it uh, if they don't like it then tada bye bye <laughs> then uh, 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 after a lead gets converted uh, we basically continue this process wherein we go through presentations uh, again and again keep brainstorming and basically refine our design uh, right before our site begins so i ideally try to uh, wrap it up as soon as possible uh, so that the site work can begin so yeah okay. that is the process okay so uh, isi ko rakhte hue mere dimag mein agla question ye hai ki uh, there might be a lot of problems which a client faces but there mm-hmm. are certain problems which a designer like you and me faces in our daily life and hmm. also by the time we are working in this industry for 4 to 5 years we have uh, talked about some hacks some solutions for that so let's talk about that yeah so um i feel uh, there are like a list of challenges like an endless list new challenges keep adding on to that list i feel but hmm. i feel the biggest challenges 
pleasing people okay because there is no set formula to please people and you are dealing with hundreds of people at once so there are going you have to please your client because they are mm-hmm. paying for everything you have to please your labor so that they do good work then you have your uh, uh, vendors so that they deliver everything on time then you also have your family which you have to balance so i think the number of people that you need to please at a time is like endless so exactly. that at times feels exhausting because whatever is happening in your mind how much ever irritated you are oh I, and i also forgot the team the team you keep <laughs> that has to be, that is like the mm. utmost uh, priority because if they are happy they are going to deliver good designs and they are going to do good that work that is for, for sure you. got it matlab designers ki life mein bhi challenges hote hain a lot of I course think. so uh, coming to our next question that how can a customer or a client get the maximum benefits well he chooses us or he chooses any other designer usko kaise maximum benefits se kaam mein mil sakta hai so i think uh, when we are talking about hiring designers one thing which people need to know is that uh, there are like hundreds of materials collections shades colors techniques applications like so many things which get released each and every day so like hmm. i compare this to how doctors and lawyers are like how they need to learn all their life like the learning and the studying never stops similarly for designers and architects it can never stop okay and it's not just one way uh, like vendors and different product manufacturers come to you and hmm. they it it would have happened to you like they present you with the uh, new materials they give you demos and they give you new applications so that is like one knowledge which a layman cannot acquire in one day okay hmm. so a designer will invariably give you the best possible application or uh, will uh, suggest the best possible material for an application okay so that is one advantage that you have secondly uh designers and architects have a very good network with the distributors the uh, mm-hmm. vendors and all and with the designers as well so they, this gives them two advantages one is that they get better prices as compared to what uh, a layman would get in the market because obviously they are working on multiple projects right so they will get better prices than the market usually secondly uh since we have such a good network with the designers uh we do share best practices and uh, what is good in the industry and what is bad so like uh, very often i discuss with designers like um uh, you know so and so de- vendor did a very good job on my site or so and so uh, vendor did a crappy job and you know usne sab kuch kharab kar diya and then he ran away so you know when you have that information with you you will not approach them again right Obviously. so you have already saved yourself from that experience when you hire someone so there is this famous designer called ali baldi wala he was also i think the actor in neja so then he 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 took up designing yeah he 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 does brilliant designs actually so two years back um, he posted a picture on instagram uh, where he uh, like installed the ac right outside the opening of a shutter and so the mm-hmm. shutter could not open because it was hitting the uh, split ac unit on the adjacent wall and mm-hmm. that was appreciated amongst the design community so much mm-hmm. because uh, you know blunders are bound to happen like there is no denying it if there is a designer who is saying ki aap mere paas aa jao koi blunder nahi hoga to they are probably lying but it's just that the percentage reduces it like if you are going to be a layman you might do 100 blunders but if you are hiring a designer blunders would get reduced to just one or two okay so that plus you get the aesthetics of course uh, because we have studied it actually studied like what color psychology how to pick materials and all of that so the aesthetics are like a of, of course the benefit then uh, it's it all boils down to you know uh, you are going to spend money it's just about spending money wisely so uh, the other day i went to a salon and uh, they had a matte laminate okay mm. and due to the services that they do it got stained and it got completely dirty because it was mm. matte and it absorbed it now mm. in order to cover that up 
they bought a vinyl sticker and they pasted it all over it okay now hmm. it looks hideous okay it's temporary had they had a designer they would have simply suggested them to go for a laminate which is like kitchen grade okay which okay. can be easily cleaned and uh, could be easily maintained and they would have like it would not have looked hideous first and secondly that uh, uh, that cost now which they are going to spend on keep uh, you know they'll keep sticking vinyl stickers that is an additional cost that they are bearing it would have bet- been better if no they had spent it because they yeah. remove it yeah so you you ended up wasting money there okay so now there's one personal question which is like one word in this four year tenure which you told me which you are most proud of and why so i feel like uh, whatever last project i do is my favorite because you know you grow as a designer you do better work as in like when you progress uh, but i think the project uh, which recently got me published is my favorite one uh, it's from uh, it got published in india design world so oh, i'm really great. proud of yeah so um, i think that's my favorite project it turned out beautiful it was photographed really well styled to perfection so i think the amount of mehnat and the amount of days and times that i spent have really borne fruit at the end of so, that project so that's amazing that mm. was lovely to hear that so uh, thank you for joining the series with us and i hope our audience will also love it and uh, we'll get back with a new episode new set of questions with amazing designers so we'll meet you again next time thank you thank you for having me i hope you guys like our video and for more such knowledge and facts about designers subscribe our channel and keep following thank you love you guys